Hey, hey, what's up everyone? RC84 here, like always. Thanks for watching. So my friends, check out what I have here on the RC Workstation. This, my friends, is the accessory kit for the Hummer H1 from HG, which is the P415. Now this has everything to mac it out. It has the front bumper with the actual working winch, the brush guard, the light bar, uh, the roof rack also has the ladder racks on the back of it, uh, the rear bumper, and also a spare tire holder for it as well. And the side, uh, you got your side bars. <laughs> uh, so everything in that kit comes with it. Uh, so I'm really super excited about this. Now, I've uh, been looking at this kit for some time now, and uh, you know, regular price was like $200 for this kit. Uh, I did find a site that sells all the HG products, uh, all the parts and everything, and I will include that link down in the description box so you can check that out. So you can buy it all in a visual. You don't have to buy the whole kit if you don't want the whole kit for the vehicle. Maybe you want a few uh, things like maybe you want the, the just the roof rack or maybe you just want the bumper or the, uh, the brush guard. You can do that. Uh, but they do have the full kit. Now you can, like I said, you can use this on the 415 and the 408 because both the vehicles are exactly the same. The same body, uh, the same wheels and tires, same electronics, all that good stuff. The only difference between the 415 and the 408, the 415 has the roof, the doors are different, and the mirrors, and of course the interior. Uh, is that more modern style interior for the civilian version of the Hummer. But, uh, but I, I, would, uh, <laughs> I actually picked this up through uh, Asian Tees. I was cruising through there the other day and I saw it and they had it on sale for $150. I was like, sold. I have to get this because uh, you know, regular price was $200. Uh, then plus topping shipping as well. You know That would have cost maybe about... I don't know about 250 or so maybe depending on where you live but I saw it there for 150 after all said and done it came up to be a hundred and ninety two dollars uh, for myself it was additional thirty eight dollars for shipping uh, which I did the two to three day uh, FedEx Express and uh, it came in two to three days from Hong Kong It actually came in three days uh, I ordered on Sunday so uh, I got processed uh, shipped out Monday Tuesday and it came in Wednesday. Uh, so I was really blown with, with Asian T shipping. They did such a great job on getting that thing here very, very quickly because I thought ordering from Asian T's and being from Hong Kong is going to take like a few weeks, so maybe a month with everything that's going on. Uh, I didn't expect to get it so soon, uh, but I did. Now, Asian T's did also throw in a free keychain. It says Asian T's RC never stops. So a nice little keychain. But anyway, not much to the box other than you know, the box art there telling you it's the American Hummer H1 upgraded suit, uh, traveling frame suit. And uh, of course, all that. Uh, nothing really on the side or anything on the back or anything like that, just kind of basic box. So uh, let's go ahead and uh, we're gonna go ahead and tear this open because I have not teared it open yet. I was you know kind of waiting to do this video. Uh, so kind of go through a walkthrough of it. So I'm gonna try not to uh, cut the box up too bad because I, I kind of really want to save the box art. Something I always do uh, is to save my box art stuff so I can post it up on the wall. All right. So let's get that. We got the plastic off. We'll throw it to the side. Now I'll bring the camera up closer so we can get a up close personal view of this thing. So let me go ahead and do that. All right, so let's go ahead and open it up. Well, we still got some tape there. How about that? All right, so tape, open it up. Look at this, nice package done. Oh, something just fell out. <laughs> what was that? We shall see. Uh, looks like the cable uh, probably for the actual, uh, the winch there, maybe, I think. I think it's coming with that. All right. So we'll put that to the side. Let's see. We got our, let's see our first box here. We got our side rails. 
and everything is all metal. So if you can see that, all metal. Uh, so we got that one. All right, we got something down here. This is my first time going through the box, so I really don't know uh, what's all in here. Uh, this is the hardware kit, actually. Uh, let's take a look at that and see. So we got a bunch of little screws, mounts. Um, take a look at that. All different types of size of the screws and stuff. Definitely need to keep that around. So that's all in that box. Take a look at the next thing. This looks like the, uh, yes, that is the, uh, the light. That's where you put the light on. Definitely have to go through the instructions and read it and see. Uh, we do have the LED light bar. Look how big that thing is. <laughs> I know, that's what she said. <laughs> but, uh, yeah. Uh, so apparently this this has uh, a few different colors uh, from uh, red, blue, white, strobes effects, and uh, different um, functions there, which uh, we'll read about that. So that's the two things in that box. So we're going to put that to the side. We have our next box here. Uh, we have front bumper or the front uh, brush guard or the predator bar I think they call this now I already have this right here for the uh, the Hummer already uh, that's one of the things I ordered when I ordered the uh, the body for my p408 and let's see next thing is an extra tire the spare tire pretty cool definitely like that silver and black it might be uh, something I might have to do on my uh, on mine, uh, I definitely really liking this wheel. Uh, that, so, but uh, this is pretty much the stock tire, and it looks like you can basically use this uh, for your for your vehicle. I mean, pretty much it looks like it. Um, yeah, I definitely am digging that. That gives me a good idea of uh, you know what I might could do with mine already. All right, so uh, that is it. Other than this crap <laughs> said uh disc uh disc descent. throw away do not eat I'm like i'm gonna eat that that's just another tiktok challenge <laughs> all right so we have here looks like the instruction manual along with uh some stickers uh lettering uh all kinds of different like lettering there so you can put stuff yeah i don't know you can't really see that too well uh, so let's go ahead let's pull out the manual because uh, now I do know with this kit there's going to be some drilling involved so we get our little so it tells us everything that we have uh, we got bumpers you know they call it the car window iron stand the rear ladder uh, spare tire holder uh, rear collision proof plates uh, so we got a lot of things here um yeah so it tells you exactly how to uh remove the front bumper to put the new bumper on there uh, a few other things as well that you got to do so that's really nice and they're very highly detailed uh you know there it goes it's saying you know use a color pen to mark spots and then hand drill which i probably will not hand drill <laughs> uh so yeah so uh we got the working winch or roof rack a lot of different things and then it also tells you where to plug up on your uh, receiver and your controller there uh, so that's definitely um, something to know about wind up run wind up wind down stop uh, it looks like it's on a three-way switch which um, might have to change up my uh, my controller for a little bit uh, yeah so it's, Saying uh, how to put the bumper on. That's good because I did not really know how to put the bumper on or that brush guard. I did not really know how to do that. Uh, yes, so as you can see, all the good stuff there. Uh, how to put the sidebars on. So, 
definitely some information that I want to see and read. Uh, and actually give you an example of placing your stickers and stuff like that. Um, yeah. So, but we'll have to see, definitely look at that a little bit more. Let's we'll to the paper here. All right, so let's take a look at the last thing. Should be the last thing, and it's in a box itself. This should be the roof rack if we can, uh, oh, tape, lots and lots of tape. All right, pull it out, let's see. Yes, it is. Oh, it is in there, boy. <laughs> Oh, we got a lot of stuff in there. Well, we got some stuff that just fell out, too. <laughs> All right, so first thing, we got a plate that goes on the back bumper. We got the uh, badges here. Got some stickers. Definitely want to try to keep this stuff all together. We got some other items that just kind of fell out. Uh, license plate frame. Show sure that. Here's a license plate frame for it. Pretty cool. Like I said, I'm trying to keep all this stuff together. Uh, we got our connection for the, um, I believe that is going to be for the winch. Definitely looks like the winch setup. So I'll take a closer look at that. Uh, Look at this. Hey, they even give me some tools, a uh, little Phillips, and some zip ties, a winch, or a oh, little, little hand winch there. Put that in there. How about that? They even include the tool to make the holes. That's really awesome. Definitely, uh, that's definitely worth <laughs> the $200. <laughs> uh, let's see what we got here. We got an Allen key. Not exactly sure, but we'll figure out that. Um, center plate for the, for the spare tire. All right, we have the rear tire holder. There we go. Uh, and here is the winch. That is the thing I really wanted to look at is this thing. So this is the winch for it. Real working winch. I've never had a winch before. It's a very small little motor on there, so we'll see how this does. I mean, I don't think it's going to lift the vehicle off the ground or anything. Oh, there it goes. There's the front of it. So, nice little hook there. Uh, yeah, that's definitely nice. And everything is all metal. That's one thing that I like about this vehicle. Whoa. All right, so we got our... Do not eat stuff again. <laughs> and we got our ladder racks for the back. Looks like this is going to be for the left side and the right side. So yeah, we got that. All right. This looks like the rear bumper. And that's got some weight. These things are heavy. It's all metal. That's really awesome. Looks like you can add another winch on the back of it if you wanted to. It actually has the mounts for it, uh, which is super awesome if you could do that. Uh, we got another little Allen key laying out here. All right, throw away. Yeah, it says, I don't know if you can probably read it, but it says throw away. There you go. <laughs> and then we have the roof rack itself and look at this Jeez. wow honestly impressive very high quality let me try to bump up the uh, lighting there look at this very nice it's gonna look great on the uh, on the Hummer there so yeah, so that is all the stuff that's in this kit.
so that kind of gives you a good overview of what's all in this kit. Well, there you go, my friends. The unboxing of the H1 accessory kit for the vehicle. I am super pumped and ready to start this, uh, putting it all together and putting it all on there and stuff like that. It's going to be a definitely uh, fun process. Will it be a process that I it will be filming? Uh, honestly, to be honest with y'all, I probably won't film that process of putting it together. There are some really cool videos that have already been done showing how to go about do, uh, doing that. But I, I really need my 100% comp, you know, my 100% focus when I'm doing something like this, especially when it coming to drilling into a hard body shell. I definitely want to make sure that I have 100% focus on that and making sure that I line up everything and uh, drill the holes properly so nothing's like crooked or out of place or anything like that. Uh, but I will do a update video on it after I get it all said and done. Uh, I think it's going to look awesome. I can't wait uh, to, you know, to get all that stuff on there and hitting the trails with that truck because honestly, I really, really love the Hummer H1 from HG. It's such a great scale trail truck, something you just take out, ride the trails. As I said before, the this Hummer H1 from HG, it's not a crawler. It's not a rot rot crawler or anything. It's it's a trail truck. You know, some people call it a go fast, uh, and some people call it a trail truck. I like to call it as a trail truck, and that's what it is, a scaled out trail truck. Uh, so yeah. All right, friends, so I hope that you liked this video. If you did, smash that thumbs like button. Comment down below if you got any questions. I'll be happy to answer them for you. And uh, also, Subscribe to the channel if you have not that way uh, and also click that notification bell I'm trying to get used to this. I know I've seen a lot of people say uh, Smash the thumbs like subscribe, you know, but that's up to you. All right. I can't force you to like it I can't force you to subscribe. I'm just saying I can only ask you <laughs> All right, I'm not forcing anybody. But anyway, I hope that y'all did enjoy this video and again I will see y'all later. Thanks for watching and yeah, I totally messed that up. <laughs> All right. Anyway, thanks again, and I will see y'all later.